Morning. So I want to talk about my loofah plant and how I got this thing to have tons of flowers. So if you're anything like me, then you probably might have loofah in your backyard. And if you don't, that's okay. Awesome plant to try to grow. So as you can see behind me, that monster covering that entire um, tunnel trellis is the loofah. And the loofah for a while just had zero flowers. And I'm like, what the heck's wrong with this loofah? And so I'm gonna talk about in this video how you can make your loofah have tons of flowers like this one. And the trick actually is talked about in a play called Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me, Seymour. All right, so as you can see, tons of loofah flowers. And a cool thing, if you look really close, look at these hornworm, these uh, hornworm moths, no, sphinx moths. You might see these as hornworms, caterpillars in your garden, wondering if they're useful or not. They are amazing pollinators. And I have like two or three of them just swarming around these um, loofah flowers, which is gonna be very useful for actually having loofah fruit. So um, if you can let them live and do a little bit of damage to your plants, they are amazing. So I have tons of grapevines and so I let them survive just because my grapevines are extremely aggressive, almost invasive in my yard. And so I let the hornworm survive and you know they turn into these moths that are amazing pollinators. So anyway, my trick, I talked about, you know, I said feed me Seymour in my little silly intro. Um, just feed your, feed your loofahs. So I bought a bag of manure. I think I have three actual vines on this and I layered a couple of them so I guess I probably have five if they're successful and I never checked and what that means is I took one of my long vines and then I buried a section of the vine but then allowed the vine to you know climb back up the trellis and the hope is that that section of vine that I buried is going to put out roots and if it did put out roots then it'll just it's going to be able to grab more nutrients for the vine just because there's you know that's a bottleneck where if you have too much vine, not enough roots, it can't pull enough nutrients to support the entire vine. And so I did that in a few sections just to make sure there's plenty of nutrients coming out of the ground. And at those sections where I have nutrients coming out of the ground, I put a few handfuls of manure and some shredded paper and you know other things there, organic material, um, grass clippings, things like that. So that's the basic idea is if you feed your loofah, it's the amount of growth it's going to be capable of producing is unlimited and that you know kind of runs true for most plants as long as your bottleneck's not water or sunlight but if you have plenty of water plenty of sunlight you've created your microclimate then all you have left to do is just make sure you're giving them enough food and as you can see you'll have tons of flowers if you don't have flowers i highly recommend trying a little bit of manure or if you don't have that i guess you can use um, chemical fertilizer just feed your plants and they will impress you, as you can see. Tons of flowers. These moths are just amazing, aren't they? So these hummingbird moths slash sphinx moths are, like I said, the result of hornworms. So they're a little bit annoying when they, you know, each of them will take out five or 10 leaves on your plants, but then they turn into these amazing flying hummingbird looking moths. And I think they're gorgeous. Oh, hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.